Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. After one of my recent releases, which has been extremely, extremely popular, uh, Black Best Opening against D4, D5, C4, where I suggested Queen's Gambit accepted repertoire for Black, I got a lot of inquiries uh, about white sidelines, what we supposed to play if white refrains from second move c4 uh, it's it's been 10 years since i published uh, my book in quality chess publishing house beating first d4 sidelines of course 10 years it's a huge uh, period for uh, chess theory especially uh, especially obviously it's it's a huge improvement uh, well in engine strength uh, there have been a lot of new lines the theory evolved a lot so it's a great idea to revisit all those lines and to present you with a new repertoire new material now in this video i would like to introduce my work and i would like to mention first of all that uh, my file will be very advanced level uh, as i have been publishing recently with a very very deep coverage very detailed coverage of every line that i analyze here now uh, even though i mentioned advanced level that means i think it's good fit even for grandmasters i believe that somebody with a level 1600 1500 who is getting into the theory can use this file as a great foundation for his future chess uh, well he can start maybe with like 10 moves to study the setup and slowly dive deeper and deeper, uh, playing games, improve, and then like analyzing more and more lines. Now, a remarkable amount of improvements. Uh, this file will cover 376 novelties, uh, so-called improvements over mainly over white play, but also I uh, there will be places where I uh, analyze best uh, possibilities for white now let's get finally to the material so what will be the coverage here now first of all i would like to mention that we have we'll have here blackmar deepmar uh, gambit which starts with move e4 d4 and now white plays different start mainly uh knight c3 and we respond with knight f6 so that will be the main line uh, uh you don't see this variation too often on the high level but it's a pretty dangerous line if you don't know the theory if you're not familiar enough with ideas uh with the right setup for black now if you know you are good to go here with the uh, probably better better chances for black so that's a uh, first important uh first important line that i would like to mention now uh, another move bishop g5 uh, so called queen's bishop attack one one of the names some people call it levitsky attack so here uh, I, I even in my book i mentioned uh, the main concept for black so if white refrains from playing c4 we are looking for quick c5 for black so in this specific line i think it's very useful to insert move h6 attacking the bishop um, and after bishop h4 to play c5 so that's it's a very sharp very ambitious very challenging line also what, what is important in my files it's it's not that we settle for some just solid line to survive the opening we'll try to play the most challenging line which in my opinion in many in many variations will promise advantage for black so and that's a very good point and hopefully once uh, you use these lines maybe uh your opponents will not have so much appetite to play against you uh all the sidelines and uh you will they will force to play main line so now uh, that was bishop g5 uh, there is a move e3 basically in most of the cases it will transpose to koli zucker third but sometimes white trying maybe to delay move knight f3 and they play bishop d3 so now as i mentioned before we have the opportunity to strike with c5 c3 knight c6 and now some people play a four which is surprisingly even though it's tempo up you play stonewall tempo up but it's a bad version because we are able 
to bring our bishop out. Knight f3 e6, and I think uh, black is fighting for advantage. I really like black position. We can play at some point bishop f5, fight uh, for e4 square here. So uh, that's surprisingly, even though it's tempo up, it's not a good stone wall. Now, after knight f3, it's already not the same Koli Zuckertor because we can jump bishop g4 first once again and then play e6. Very, very comfortable position for black. Now, uh, knight c3. So uh, I, I would say that this is one of the uh, very popular lines. So first of all, of course, talking about Jababa London, there will be also covered old-fashioned line, bishop g5, very soft. It's called very soft variation. Now here, I, um, I, I remember recommending in my book move c5 right away. It probably works pretty well, but it looks like h6 is very useful insertion h6 bishop h4 and then knight d7 i really like this line and um, basically uh, inspired by uh, pavel elianov work uh, when he published in uh, on modern chess platform a few years ago so i think it's really great line so we delay a little bit and then later we strike with c5 so it's a, in my opinion very very strong very, very strong setup where, once again, I think black is fighting for advantage. Finally, we are getting to bishop f4, Jababa London, very popular. Uh, I can tell you that uh, some of my students of national master level uh, have been very, very successful uh, scoring tremendously with white. So it's uh, crucial to know what exactly you do with black because uh, one of the reasons for that, that there are so many uh, materials published on this line, starting from chessable courses. The, there was excellent work by Naroditsky and Bortnik published on their personal web page. So many people have the, those files and they know what exactly to do with white. So you have to be very well prepared. So my line here, uh, a6 first move, which stops knight b5. And then basically well, there are many moves here, but the main move is e3. And then we play e6. Then we play e6, and later uh, we're still uh, getting set up with move c5, if possible b5, active play, uh, very, very fighting uh, positions, and uh, I have some interesting improvements over uh, over recommendation, over the line which recommended in uh, Naroditsky Bortnik course, and uh, I think black is doing pretty well. I mean, very happy to introduce this line. Now, that was knight c3. Now, switching to move knight f3, knight f6. So here will be uh, coverage of five different moves. Starting with London, that will be the main position of London. Of course, London can be uh, played uh, through second move bishop f4, but uh, it will transpose. So here we'll have uh, interesting move c3, which is basically uh, white is uh, kind of like flexible. Maybe, uh, maybe they will choose... Uh, Call a Zuckertor, maybe bishop f4 still come, maybe sometimes bishop g5. Uh, very popular. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's played a lot by Indian prodigy Nihal Sarin. And uh, in general, main idea to make it more difficult to play c5, but we still play c5. And we are well prepared for dc5 uh, because here we play e6 and after b4 uh, we play a5. So that will be uh, a very, very concrete, very exciting line. Um, and uh, I think I have, I have some uh, really great ideas and very uh, extensive coverage in this position. So that was move c3. Now uh, bishop g5. So that that's a um, quite popular move. So here the idea is pretty simple. We start knight a4. Regardless, white move here, which I mean, I will be covering three major choices. Bishop f4, bishop h4 and h4 uh, we always play c5 and we start our active play knight c6 queen b6 and so on black uh, i don't think there are uh, any massive developments here to compare with what i covered in my book uh, well still of course there will be uh, a few uh, new lines here but uh, black black is doing amazing in my opinion uh, already fighting for advantage now that's uh, move bishop g5 now, important to mention a no in G3. I know some of my students uh, kind of like have been struggling. So one of the problems here, if you decide, let's say, 
uh, to settle for like e6, uh, move e6, bishop g2. Now, now you might, if, if you play normal moves like bishop e7, you basically might end up with some Catalan that, let's say, not in your repertoire. Maybe you don't play the system with bishop e7. Maybe you want something sharper. Maybe you want bishop before check or uh, some different system. And basically, in some way, you are forced to play this very main line of Catalan with a lot of theory. Now, therefore, uh, I still stay with my uh, old idea where I play b5. I like this approach. We grab space on the queen side. It's independent line, independent line. So anyone uh, can play this, whether like you, you're a queen's game decline player, you're a slav player, you can go b5. So the idea, obviously, uh, just have normal development. So we have, uh, so that, that's kind of like the main line, white, of course, tried to deviate so everything is covered and now the idea to complete development get uh, bishop to b7 play c5 and so on um, there are some changes to compare with the books obviously but uh, the evaluation uh, remains the same black is doing pretty well in this variation now of course here i wouldn't say that black is already fighting for advantage after all it's pretty solid system for white uh, and um, I think uh, everything is uh, well covered. So now e3, uh, e3. Now we play c5, and uh, so basically, uh, I I don't think we can call it's already call it Zuckertor position. I know with the move b3, that's like a beginning of call it Zuckertor setup. I I don't think it's very popular nowadays. It's kind of like a little bit old fashioned. Of course, it's covered. Now nowadays we have some new moves like bishop e2. Uh, bishop e2, bishop b5, some tricky ideas. Uh, there are quite a few games of uh, Gukesh now. But uh, talking about mainline, uh, well, of course, we have also knight d2, which has been played in one of the games of uh, last world championship match between uh, Dean Cluren and Nepo. So we, I actually go with the same line. I like the line, just, just the, the, there is a... I deviate at some point uh, from Nepo play, uh, great position for black here. And uh, finally, well, DC5 also interesting move. We need to know what to do after DC5, of course. And now the main line C3. So that's uh, this setup is like very popular. Uh, and now I would like to mention that here I found a very uh, interesting setup. It was kind of like a little bit surprising for me. So instead of playing Knight C6, I decided to go for knight d7. And the point is that after knight d2, we play b6. We get our bishop to b7, and this bishop uh, is much more active uh, to compare uh, with our when we develop our knight on c6. So there's much more influence on e4 square, which is uh, always the major idea for white in this position. Played by very strong grandmasters. I checked everything. Black is doing... Uh, very well in this variation, I think, uh, easily solving all opening problems. And finally, we have London, uh, which probably number one sideline. Uh, it's it's been always. I I was always skeptical in some way. Uh, e e even when uh, Magnus started to play, I thought it was like rather surprising weapon. But Surprisingly, there are like a lot of me, a lot of new ideas for white, and uh, many courses published on chessable. And um, so my my line will be just uh, the main move order: e3, c5, c3, knight d2, or maybe c3, knight c6, c3. So that's the main position. Of course, there will be full coverage of uh, most popular deviations from this line. And here, uh, I will go with the move knight h5. Um, and, uh, so inspired by. Uh, Russian Grandmaster Andrei Yesepenko. So he had like a very, uh, very successful games here. So we immediately challenged the bishop. Now there will be uh, three bishop moves covered. Obviously, bishop g3 is pretty harmless. Now uh, also bishop e5 uh, will will just uh, play f6 and force bishop to g3. So also like not uh, the most challenging line. And basically, uh, the main line is clearly bishop g5, f6. Now bishop h4. Uh, like, like obviously, like you probably have a question: What happens with the, uh, our knight on h5? So, for example, 
Here, there is already tactical opportunity for white to strike with knight e5, but not a big deal. We just play g6. We always play g6 in this line, and it's perfectly fine. Actually, knight can be relocated later on to g7, transfer to f5, so it's not a problem at all. So that will be one line. Uh, now, after bishop h4, g6, this will be our uh, main position in this variation, where uh, I will have uh, like full coverage in this line. Uh, now, black ideas i would say uh involve uh, capture on d4 at a uh, appropriate moment so for example like let's say bishop d3 comes and we take cd4 we basically force move cd4 because cd4 knight f4 so that's one of the kind of key ideas now we take cd4 we develop our bishop so now another idea kind of like get ready for g5 uh, for this we need to make sure that our knight on h5 is not hanging in there. So sometimes we can have maybe queen a8, move for bishop d7, a8. So it's, uh, I to be honest, uh, I have uh, already a lot of respect to uh, London variation, uh, thanks to uh, a lot of um, uh, developments from white side, some uh, really interesting ideas, uh, new pawn structures and uh, uh, I think th this is really nice uh, double-edged uh, variation where black is pretty aggressive, so we don't settle really for some uh, some like just solid line to survive the opening. Like a very uh, very challenging line uh, for white, and uh, you have will have a full coverage with some uh, very important improvements and uh, good play for black. So, uh, guys, if you if you are interested, please uh, head over to my personal webpage, ask-abru.com. This is where you can find my downloadable PGN, as well as uh, there is always an option to uh, to go over this file uh, on my site. But I think like everyone more or less prefers to download this, uh, this work. And uh, if not, guys, I hope like I gave you some nice ideas for your own uh, development of this line. So you have already direction. So the rest is just to to, to see the games of strong players and, and work on this line. So and uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, you find it's useful and uh, I'll see you uh, on my next videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.